Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to enable BitLocker on Windows 11. On Windows 11, BitLocker is a security feature to use encryption on a drive to protect your data from unauthorized access to your documents, pictures, and any kind of data that you may have on the computer. When enabling encryption on the drive, the data becomes a scramble using the Advanced Encryption Standard or AES encryption algorithm to encrypt the data in the entire drive and no one can have access to it without the correct password even if you share the file with other people. BitLocker is available on Windows 11 Pro, Enterprise and Education. The home edition of Windows includes a light version of the feature and is known as BitLocker device encryption. Okay, here's how to enable BitLocker on Windows 11. First, we're going to look at steps to enable BitLocker on the Windows 11 installation drive. And to do that, open Start and look for Settings. And open the app. Then go to System and open the Storage page. Then select Advanced Storage Settings. And in here, select the Disks and Volumes option. On this page, expand the drive that contains the volume that you want to apply the encryption. In this case, we're going to be encrypting the Windows 11 installation drive. So we're going to look for the C drive and then click Properties. At the bottom of the page, click the Turn on BitLocker option. Then click the Turn on BitLocker for the operating system drive. Then the wizard is going to ask you to back up the recovery key, which is a password that allows you to unlock the encryption in case you need to recover your files. Most of the time, if you're using a Microsoft account, you want to select the save to your Microsoft account option, but you can also save it as a file or print the recovery key to a paper that you can store in a secure location. For this video, we're going to be using the Microsoft account option and then click next. On this page, select the encrypt use disk space only option, which is the faster way to use encryption on the computer and then click Next. Since Windows 10 version 15.11, the operating system introduces a new disk encryption and that's the one that you want to use. Now, if you plan to remove the drive and connect it to a different computer for some specific reason, you can use the compatible mode, but most of the time you want to use the new encryption mode option and then click Next. This is option, but you can also check the Run BitLocker system check which is an option that allows you to check to ensure that BitLocker can read the recovery and encryption keys correctly before encrypting the files. And then click continue. And now we're going to click the restart now button. And after the restart, encryption will be enabled, but it will keep working on the background to finish encrypting all the data on that particular drive. But you can continue to use the computer. You can quickly confirm that BitLocker is enabled by opening the File Explorer app and then on this PC, you will notice that in this case, the local disk drive where Windows 11 is installed, you will see a log that indicates that BitLocker is enabled. In addition to encrypting the Windows 11 installation drive, you can also encrypt fixed data drives, which are those secondary drives that you might have connected to the computer. And to do that, open Start and look for Settings, and then open the app. Then go to System and open the Storage page. Then open Advanced Storage Settings and click on Disks and Volumes. Then select the drive that you want to encrypt and click the Properties button. At the bottom of the page, click the Turn On BitLocker option. Then under the Fixed Data Drives, click the Turn On BitLocker option for the drive that you want to encrypt. Unlike the process to encrypt the installation drive, we have to create a password to unlock fixed data drives. And to do that, check this option and create a new password. Since we are encrypting a drive that will be always connected to the computer, we also want to check the always unlock this drive on this computer option. So you don't have to enter the password every time that you restart the computer and want to access that drive. And now click next. The wizard will give you different options to save the recovery key. And the best option is to save it to your Microsoft account. So click that option and click Next. In here, select the Encrypt 
use disk space only option, which is a faster way to enable encryption on a drive and then click next. Since we're assuming that you always going to have the drive connected to this computer running Windows 11, you want to use the new encryption mode option. But if you plan to move the drive back and forth between older versions of Windows, you might want to select the compatible mode and then click next. And finally, click the start encrypting button to begin the encryption. Since the drive doesn't have any data on it, it doesn't take long to complete the task. Finally, you can also use BitLocker to go, which allows you to encrypt removable drives, such as USB flash drives. And to do that, open start, look for settings and open the app. Then go to system and open the storage page. Then open the advanced storage settings. Then click on disks and volumes. Now select the drive that you want to encrypt and click the properties button. At the bottom of the page, click on turn on BitLocker. And then under removable data drives, click the turn on BitLocker for the removable drive. Check the use password to unlock the drive option and create a password to lock and unlock the drive. And then click next. Select the save to your Microsoft account option to save the recovery key to your account and then click next. Check the encrypt use disk space only option and click next. Since you can't predict where you're going to be using the removable drive, it is best to select the compatible mode for the encryption and then click next and then click the start encrypting button. And now the drive is being encrypted with BitLocker. Although BitLocker is a great feature to protect your data on your computer, sometimes you might need to turn it off for different reasons or even because you don't want to use the feature anymore. And the fastest way to disable the feature is by opening Control Panel. And to do that, open Start and look for Control Panel and open the app. Then click on System and Security. Then click on BitLocker Drive Encryption. On this page, you will see all the drives that are using encryption with BitLocker. And as you can see, there are different options that you can use. For the operating system drive, you can suspend the protection if you're installing an, an application or you're doing something that is interfering with encryption. You can click this option to disable encryption, but without removing it. After you completed the task, you can come back and turn on protection one more time. You can also use this option to back up the recovery key and you can save it once again to your Microsoft account if you haven't done that yet or you can save it to a file or print it. Since we're showing the steps to disable BitLocker, we're going to be clicking the turn off BitLocker option. Since we enable BitLocker in different drives, in order to turn off the feature on the main drive, you have to turn it off for all the drives and that's a warning that we're getting right now. But before we disable the feature, I'm just going to back up here and I just want to show you that for the different drive that we have, we have different options. So for example, for the fixed data drives, you can also back up your recovery keys and you can also change the password to lock the drive and to unlock it. You can also remove the password and add a smart card, which is uncommon for home users. You can turn off auto unlock so you have to manually log in to access the data every time that you restart the computer and you can also turn off BitLocker and the same options are available for BitLocker to go and here's the thing if we want to turn off BitLocker on the operating system drive we are going to get a message that we need to disable BitLocker on all the drives however if you want to turn off BitLocker on a secondary drive, we're not going to get that option. You can actually turn off BitLocker for that particular drive, but the operating system drive will continue to be encrypted. And to do that, you would just click the turn off BitLocker button for that particular drive. In this case, to disable the feature completely on the computer, we're going to click the turn off BitLocker for the operating system drive, and then we're going to click the decrypt all the drives button. However, BitLocker 2Go will still be enabled on that removable drive. If you want to turn off BitLocker for that USB flash drive, you need to click the turn off BitLocker button. 
and then click the turn off BitLocker button again. And that's it. That's how you enable and disable BitLocker on Windows 11. If you have the Windows 11 installation drive encrypted, it will take some time to decrypt all the files, but you can continue using the computer while that process finishes. And that's it. Remember to leave your comments, share the video, subscribe to your channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.